So tonight, developing story, Buffalo police now have made a break in a deadly hit and run crash. They have located the SUV they say struck and killed a 60 year old man. Arthur Redrick was left to die on Bailey Avenue, where a makeshift memorial is now standing. And tonight, the one question his family is asking, why? Ed Riley picks up the story. Why would you uh, run somebody over and keep going without coming out the car? to find out what the problem is. Arthur Redrick comes from a family of 13 children, but the past week has been agony for his brothers and sisters as they wonder who is responsible for the hit and run death of the 60 year old disabled man. They cowards. Cowards, that's all I can say, they cowards. Last Friday evening, Arthur Redrick was attempting to cross Bailey Avenue to get to a corner market not far from his home on Lang Avenue when he was struck and killed. Using an image taken from the City of Buffalo's Safe Cam program, police asked the public to help find this vehicle. Today, it was located. Uh, the vehicle was found uh, approximately within one mile where the accident occurred. I'm, I don't want to say the street it was found on because that's part of the investigation at this point. No arrests have been made yet, but police are looking at two people of interest. It was heavy front end damage to the vehicle as well as damage to the windshield. Arthur's family is now counting on Buffalo police to get justice for their brother. They should go to jail. I'm not saying for the rest of their life, but they should go to jail. You don't do that to nobody. Even though he was disabled, his family said Arthur would always walk to St. Luke's Mission of Mercy to help. He was very likable by everybody. He get toys for Christmas for people, for kids, and he helped deliver them. But his family does not understand how a man who showed compassion to others was given no compassion by a hit-and-run driver. How hard has this been on the family to deal with this? Bad. 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 The funeral for Arthur Redrick will be held next Wednesday at St. Luke's. And because Arthur loved horses so much, his sister tells me she's now trying to find a way to get a horse-drawn hearse for the funeral procession. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.